The Black Death arrived in England in Dorset in June 1348 and lasted until 1350. The plague was bubonic, meaning people got swollen lumps or buboes on their arms and legs. These were full of blood and red in colour, then turned black, giving the disease its name. People also suffered flu symptoms like coughing and sweating. Most people died in agony within five days of contracting the disease. At the time, England's population was around 4 million and 1.5 million were killed, although some have said it was possibly closer to half the population. The plague was spread by fleas carried by black rats, and it's thought to have been carried from China to Europe on trade ships. People in England lived in primitive conditions and sewage flowed through the streets, so the illness spread quickly. The Black Death was not understood and many people thought it was a punishment from God and believed praying would help them. Foreigners and non-Christians were blamed for causing the disease and some of them were attacked. Some thought only poor people were affected, but Edward III's daughter Joan died from it. Others thought it was passed through bad air, and so rubbish was cleared from the street and fires lit. Some people thought using flowers and herbs would make the air cleaner, and placed items near their mouths and noses. Other unusual remedies included people cleaning themselves with vinegar and drinking it. Due to the volume of deaths, there were fewer people to work the land, and so one result of the disease was an increase in wages, as the extra demand for the workers who were left meant they could ask for more money and better treatment. 